Hi, in this short video, I'm going to create a property line border for this area right here. In this case, I'm just going to draw a box, but it could be any shape, but it's going to move along with the video. This video right here happens to be in orbit around this little, little pond. So if I hit play, you'll see it spin around that little pond. I've already in, in, in DaVinci Resolve cut right here and here, and make, it eight, make, it, make it eight second uh, video here. So I'm going to move my cursor to the anywhere in here and pick that piece. And then I want to go to the Fusion page. So on the Fusion page, for our first thing I'm going to do is go to the beginning of the playhead. Just to make sure that's done that way initially. And then I'm going to click on the first node here, do a control, control space bar, and type in the word tracker, just T-R-A will do it. Hit add. While this is chosen, I'll do a control space bar again and type in paint. It's P-A-I will do it. Get me paint there. Hit add. The paint node is going to let me place a poly, polygon shape for my border. In this case, I'm going to be, it's going to be a rectangle, but it could be any shape you want. But up here, the key is to pick this option right here, the polyline stroke. And then to choose where you want the border to be. And the other trick to this is every situation is different, but you have to pick an, a point that can be tracked. So it has to be discoloration or some way different than everything else. So it can be tracked over a period of eight seconds in this case. My first point is going to be in this little discoloration right here. And my second point, I'm going to put, actually, I could zoom in, but I'm going to put it right here by this little line right there. Third point is going to be this little rock right there. And again, I would probably zoom in and be more accurate. My third point is going to be right in this little line there. And then I could click on this point here to finish it, or I could place more points. Or I could uh, choose the option right here to close my poly my polyline. So there's and right now, and once it's closed, it's closed. I can move these points right now if I needed to, but right now they actually look pretty good where they are. Next step is you need to select these points, and you need to right click in the window, go to the very bottom option for polyline, go to publish and publish points. Very important step in this case. And then you can click off that node if you want to. And then a trick to get rid of this white um, paint here for now is to grab the tracker, which is already placed. If you just drag, drag drop it in the window, you'll see just makes that go away. But if you click on the paint node, you'll see the boundary still. So the idea is we need to create a tracker for each one of these, these four points. So the first tracker is already on the screen, so I'm going to grab this guy, and it has a little magnifying glass, which is, can be can be annoying. I'm going to put it over that area that I first chose, about there. And I'm going to see how close it is to where I have that point. It's pretty close. I could move it over a little bit more if I wanted to, um, just to be safe. I would normally zoom in, and do it a little bit more accurately, but for this, I'm just going to do this really quickly. So that's pretty good actually. The second point. I'm going to create a new tracker. So I'll pick the tracker node, hit add, and then do the same thing for my second point, which was, I believe, that one right here. And with that magnifying glass, it can be tricky to find it. So sometimes I'll, I'll line it up either horizontally or vertically and push it up like that to try to find it, which I believe it's right there. And I can verify again by picking both. And let's verify. That's good. Those are four trackers are now placed. Next step is when pick the tracker node here, and you can choose how many frames you want it to track at a time. If you choose every frame, it could take a long time depending on a lot of situ a lot of conditions, but it'd be more accurate. For this, I'm going to choose just two. Every two frames, I'm going to track, and I'm going to choose best match. So it's really all I have to do, and it'll take about two minutes for it to finish, but then you click on track forward because I've already I've already gone to the beginning of the track when I started this video. So I hit track forward. One of the main keys to this is to make sure that all 
points you chose are going to be on the screen during the whole time you're tracking. After everything is tracked, choose tracker one. Make sure tracker one is chosen up here as well. I want to start with the first tracker. After that, choose both of these nodes. Once you do that, click on paint one up here and then click on modifiers. Now this is kind of where it gets a little bit unusual, but if you follow these steps, it'll work fine. Right click on point zero and go to expression. This is really where the point is right now. We're going to delete this contents right here. Put your cursor on top of the plus, hold left button in, drag it up to tools, then drag it down as you keep holding it in the tracker one. And then as you keep holding it in, don't let go, go to this text right here. Tracker tracked center one. And notice the text that it puts in here. Take this text here, do a control, do a control C or copy. And then for these other three points, do the same thing. Well, actually, a good expression for both of the, all three of these points. And then double click on the second one, get rid of the contents, and then paste in that and change the one to a two. And do the same for all of these. Change this one to a three. And then change this one to a four. And that's, and that's it pretty much. Right now they're all being tracked. If I go to back to edit window and I go to the screen here, just and I hit play, you'll see that it's tr it's tracking the box is moving with the, with the video. Move your cursor and put it in about the center of where you're tracking and make sure you pick that and then go to Fusion again. And what we're gonna do is first we're gonna make this thinner. It's way too thick for this. Um, so under under um, brush stroke control here, I'm gonna change this 0 0.2 to 0 0.1. So it's thinner and I'm going to um, because I'm, I put the cursor in the middle of, of here right now, the middle of what I'm tracking, what I'm going to, what I'm going to do is make the tracking actually in, in, put it in motion from the start to here. You'll just see what I mean in a second. So if I go back to the tracker, if I go to stroke control, I change all frames to right on then off. And then go back to here again. If I go back to the beginning where I'm tracking, you won't see anything. But when I hit play, it's going to write the actual box until it gets to the point where I told it to stop, keep it on there. And then, then it'll go away after the tracking is finished. The other thing I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to, under effects, under video transitions, under cross dissolve, I'll put a cross dissolve at the end, maybe there. So that when I go here and I play, it tracks it. It doesn't quite go away as harshly as it would otherwise.